Hi guys, Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the advantages of stucco. Um, number one, a color code stucco system, which we do color codes nowadays, since 1926 it came out. But say like these um, concrete steps here. This is a poured uh, concrete rail. Now this is done with Santa Barbara Smooth Mission Finish three coats to get it this smooth. This you never have to touch. A hundred years you never have to touch. It's kind of maintenance free just like these uh, the flagstone here. Um, anyhow, I wanted to point out what we did. We were been on five months hold while a door has been on order. So we don't usually have the opportunity to come back and show what we've done before. This gives us a great opportunity. You want to sh show up here, Jay, and I'll, I'll show some other things that you can do. Of course, we did this uh, five months ago. And they put the pillars on. You notice they did some really, really beautiful work here. And these guys are on the ball. One thing that a lot of folks don't realize is you can do this. I don't know if you can get a good shot here, Jay. This is Wonderboard. Wonderboard, uh, which is a cementitious background. A smooth Santa Barbara mission finish has been placed over here. Three coats to get it that smooth. Anyhow, there's a lot of advantages to stucco. Say, uh, again, it's maintenance free. Unlike wood, vinyl siding, or even brick, it, it's stuff uh, fire resistant. Your insurance goes down if you have stucco on the outside because of the R value of uh, insulation, your heating, a, a, a cooling system goes, costs go way down, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you're really interested in a lot of other, there's 20 different other top 10 tips. Google uh, the advantages of stucco. What we're going to do is going to be up on top of this deck. We'll show you that pretty quick. All right, guys, we're up on a deck. Now this door has been on order for like five months. And what we're going to do is, here's what I recommended to the, the fellow who owns the, the house. Um, we're going to break back. We're, I'm breaking back and this is real dusty. I don't want it to get on the lens. So we're going to keep going back, going back until we can get some good paper. Granted, this is 100 year old stucco. So I'm surprised it's in this good a condition. What I recommended to him is we'll take, they're going to pull the light off. We're going to take it out. You see the strip above the door? We're going to take that out also. And this right here, if, <laughs> it was talking about, well, we'll do three inches. Well, we're going to take this whole thing out. That way we can take our paper into the key here and button that up real well. A lot of advantages to stucco. Even these hundred year old houses, look how well it's in. It's in great condition. So that's, that's again, one of the benefits and advantages of, of doing stucco siding. So anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this noisy beast on and we're gonna break out and we'll show you how we do a little bit of paper and wire here too. Okay guys, we got that nasty, unglorious job done of breakout. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something that we take it for granted when we do a little bit of exploration like this and pull stuff apart we never know what the heck is under there so take this for example we got some pretty fat gaps in here now you can do a number of number of ways i've done it this way i'll take sycoflex polyurethane caulking and i'll put a fat bead of caulking here all the way around it then i'll put two layers of paper on it and fuse that paper with the the caulking against this. Again, this is 100 year old stucco, so we really want it watertight. We're up pretty high and it, we're southwest facing and it does get 100, well, probably 70 mile an hour winds here at most. And then we caulk this side. You gotta know what to look for and, and be prepared for stuff. I told the homeowner, you should take your trim off. And his reply was, well, we have it on a membrane. Well, we pulled the stucco off on this side and it's typical. The membrane here, they had the stucco here so they couldn't get it. Now, if I were to try to squeeze my paper in here, what would happen? Uh, it would leak. It might take a year, two or three, but it will leak. So I've, I've been doing this too many years and I've, I've learned by mistakes. Some mine, some other people where a fella said, hey, just caulk it like 20 years ago. Yeah, he had to reset a whole wall and tear it off and do it the right way. So again, we got some gaps. We got weird stuff going on in 100 year old houses. 
you would expect weird stuff. So we're going to membrane all this. I'm, where I got some gaps right here, I'm going to caulk these first, and I'm just going to use a, a, a membrane on all this stuff. You'll see it as we get to uh, get doing it. I'll, I'll show you this peel and stick because I'm going to get busy here. And what I'll generally do is I've got to brush. I'm going to brush all the dust off of this too because it won't adhere very, very well. So that's the next stage of this stuff here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, where we're at now is I started the bottom off because that's pretty time consuming. We're working in the hot sun and this particular stuff, you use the roll, put the roll, the knife on the roll and cut, you can get a straight cut. And when you're working in the hot sun with this stuff, nasty stuff, it, it tends to want to stick to itself. I like to do this early morning if I have the opportunity, but we don't always have that luxury. Anyhow, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to peel this stuff. Any of you have ever done this, you know, don't do it in the sun because it will stick to itself if you, if the wind blows it and it, it uh, it's nasty stuff. Anyhow, here's what I generally will do. Now we got a, a membrane right here. This is a peel and stick. So we're putting the second peel and stick. And what I, I want to go into that key because again, this is a real tricky wall. We're in this, we're on the Southwest, we're up high. Okay, now that I've cleaned this paper real well, this will adhere. This kind of melts on, it's especially a hot day like this, it'll melt right on there. And this way there is a seam here, it, uh, it's about an eighth of an inch, we don't like that. So we put that on and generally I'll get my, my membrane over this membrane and it will adhere almost by, it welds itself, so we're tight here. Then I'll take a sharp brand new knife, new blade, and I'll kind of outline this. I'll just, I'll eyeball it and come in. Because what I want to do is, I want to get this membrane over as much of this paper as possible. Now this, it takes a little bit of time and it takes a little bit of practice, but I'll show you how I do it. A whole bunch of ways to do this stuff, guys. Okay, let me get this nasty stuff and since I got this strip here I'm gonna put it over this big gap right here as an extra precaution rather than throw it away okay so now I'm gonna use my fingers here and squeeze this in here that's pretty much how we're gonna do it uh, I'm getting ready to have the carpenter who's on this job after we membrane everything come and put this uh, wood trim back because it had about 10 shims here to get it get it lined up. I'm a pretty good stucco guy, but carpentry, that's not my thing. So he'll come and do that. Then we're going to wire it and be out of here. Okay, guys, where we're at right now, I'm just putting the last bit of this nasty caulking on it. What we did is we fused all the openings here. Of course, we membraned everything here. And here, that stucco goes about eight inches up there. So we put our grace membrane and put a couple tubes of caulking here, around the sides, everywhere. We are completely uh, uh, bulletproof on this right here because it's old stucco. It's funny, my wife just came here and gave us, brought us lunch and she said, man, five months later and they did all this? Take a peek at this exterior. Uh, you guys gotta see this. Uh, let's see, Jay, if you uh, can come down here. These guys put in these queen palms. These are like 30 foot queens, uh, Hawaiian palms, Mexican palms. Jay corrected me on the flagstone. That's travertine tile in the swimming pool. These guys got the best view of any I've seen so far. And I've, we've done a lot of work in the last 30 years. Tiburon, Larkspur, you name it. If I was to take my pick, I'd say, well, I'd like something just like this. Anyhow. My name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching and as usual, Jay and I will see you guys on the next one.